Hey y'all. So I was hoping to have had an install today, but uh, my buddy with the heritage uh, took a monster sized dad nap yesterday and kind of chewed our whole schedule. And he's off busy doing other stuff today. So, but he did, I don't know if I mentioned, ordered some new handlebars. I'll wait for those to come in along with some other stuff. My brother, uh, uh, he's about to pull the trigger on some new parts for his soft tail since his Road King got uh, totaled. And I don't have any new parts as of yet, but I got something. I'm really excited. I actually showed up on Monday. Today's Sunday. Uh, showed up on Monday at my office. I brought it home and I just got it mounted yesterday. But we're not again. We're not going to get to that just yet. So, I had a conversation with either my brother or his dad within the last couple of weeks. I don't remember which. Could have been both. I talk a lot. Um, but I figured I'd uh, get your guys' thoughts on the matter. So, we were talking about how my Street Glide's a 107, my brother's Road King was a 107, and his dad's Heritage and Road Glide are both 114s. Uh, my Fat was a 114. Um, I'm of the opinion that we're going to see the 107 into 2024 and I think into 25. Both of them, or either one of them, whichever I talk to or both, uh, are of a different opinion. They think this is the last year for the 107. And then all of your standards, your road, uh, not road king, because that standard doesn't exist anymore unless they bring it back. But your street glide standard, road glide standard, you know, pretty much anything that came with a 107, they think is now going to come standard with a 114. The specials will get the 117. Uh, the CVOs, obviously, they've got their uh, two thirds of them have that 121, uh, but we're not going to go into that. Uh, so. I know that they released the 107 back in 2017 in the touring lines and then dropped it into the soft tails in 2018. But, you know, I, I still think they got at least one, if not two more years left of the 107 as an option before they completely kill it off. But, uh, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll see what uh, next year or the year after holds, but I'm curious to know what you all think out there. So if you would, just know, let me know down below. Uh, I do a pretty good job at responding to all the comments, at least the ones that I feel warrant a response. If you simply just say something, a hey, cool video or your hair sucks or whatever, I might respond telling you to pick a toe and suck it or, hey, thanks, you know, appreciate that. So there's only been a, a couple of comments where I just, you know, hit the, the like button or something like that. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Is is 2023 the last year of the 107, or are we going to see it for another year or two? Well, I know what I think. I know what they think. I want to know what everybody else thinks. But, you know, we got the my 107 out here finally getting ready for what should be her last bath of the year. Decided to actually pull the, the condor out just to try washing it without having a low side. So we'll give it a whirl, but... Man, that fairing is nasty. So, but back to what I ordered that I'm really excited about. So, uh, middle of August, there is a chopper rally. I don't know if you can see me because of that light. There's a chopper rally out in North Carolina called the Smokeout Rally. And while I've never been there, I've only recently discovered it. Um, they do this thing where they... Uh, they partner with a company called uh, uh, Paco, and Paco sends a bunch of uh, you know, half gas tanks out, and then to the guys running it, the, the cycle source people are the ones that run the show. And cycle source reaches out to a bunch of motorcycle painters and says, "Hey, you interested in painting up this gas tank half? We're going to auction it off." So that's that's what they had going on was a gas half gas tank auction. So, and all the proceeds for that, uh, I mean, 100% go towards the Meals on Wheels uh, folks who, you know, handle getting food out to people who can't get out to get their own. So, I went and checked it out online, you know, because I just couldn't make it the 3,000 miles to this rally. 
God, there were some really cool, cool tanks on there. Uh, some that were kind of, eh, to me. Uh, but I ended up bidding on three of them. At one point, I was winning on three of them. I didn't want to win all three. My, my bank account would not have liked that. But fortunately, I did get outbid on two of them. And I won one. It's from a company, as best I can tell, and, and I, I'm sorry if you're watching, he's out of Massachusetts, um, Reading, Reedling, something like that. Uh, it's a company called, and I'm probably going to murder the name, uh, Puglia Custom Designs. Uh, the owner is, I believe his name's Eric, and it is badass. So I'm going to spin you around, let you guys take a look at this. Had to do a little rearranging on the garage art, but... I think it works, so here it comes. Bam. I don't know if my garage lighting is doing this thing justice, but apparently this in the painting world is called a filigree. It's three-dimensional, and I mean, it is just stunning. You know, the that greenish, blue, teal, I don't know what looks like uh, a metallic inlay up towards the top. We have like some water spot styling, some wood grain. And I'm sure there's actual like technical painting terms for this that I just don't know because I am not that sophisticated. But I was beyond stoked when I ended up winning this auction. And they went ahead and shipped it to me at no cost. So, I mean, aside from the cost of winning the auction. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I paid because that's my business. Hell, even my wife doesn't know what I paid. Um, but super cool tank, super uh, amazing job done on it. Uh, it's obviously it's a one-off. Uh, the guy donated his time and materials uh, to do this and just to benefit the Meals on Wheels folks. So I'm excited to have been a part of the auction. I'm even more stoked to have won one and have a piece of that in, in my garage now. Uh, there are a couple little metal tabs on the, the inside of it. It is a hollow tank that you can use to mount up to the wall. But uh, Eric over uh, at, and I'm sorry, I'm screwing up with your name, but uh, over there at Puglia Custom, Custom Designs, dude, you freaking nailed it. Uh, I mean, it's beyond out of the park. I'm super excited. Um, and, you know, I think next year I will bid on another one. We'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, in the meantime... We got the wash bucket out. We got my blow dryer, which also doubles as a shop vac. And we're gonna give that gal the much needed bath that she needs before getting put up for the winter. She desperately needs some new tires. I don't know if I mentioned this, those tires, at least at the front, I'm pretty sure are cupped hard. And it is it is scary to ride right now. So she's, she's done, she's not getting ridden anymore. Um, but I think I'm gonna do something stupid and I'm gonna, when I order my new tires, they're probably gonna come mounted and balanced on some new wheels. I've got them picked out. We're probably gonna have to wait until I'm guessing January, February, or March at the latest before I can pull the trigger on that. But uh, yeah, she's gonna get, uh, get something shiny on the front end. So that's all I've got for today. You know, maybe next time when we come back, we'll have an install for you, but do me a flavor if you would. You now, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, throw some comments down if you got any questions, comments, or concerns. And that, we'll catch y'all next time. Later.